The circuit you're looking at here is a plasma speaker circuit. The way the circuit operates is a 555 timer is modulated by an audio source, which then goes to this power transform, which powers the flyback. Now the spark you see here produced in the flyback is being modulated by the audio source. So the shock wave produced by these sparks is producing audible sound. And the circuit, which you can actually see right up here, is fairly straightforward. It's just a 555 timer. There's an audio input. The audio input is modulating pin 5 and the circuit is then powering a um, IRF um, 640 and that power transistor is then powering the flyback transformer. Now do not try to build this circuit if you're not familiar with high voltages. It is not safe if you, are not, if you don't know what you're doing. Now, the sound you're hearing is actually produced by the spark. If I break the spark, the sound goes away. If I make the spark smaller, you get less sound. So you can hear the sound is definitely being created by the spark is not some sort of little special effect I'm adding afterwards. That was actually a fairly cheap circuit to make. It only costs a few dollars, um, provided you can get flyback transformers at a reasonable price. I was able to get this flyback transformer from Goldmine Electronics. Um, and it works fairly well. And that is how to make a plasma speaker. And thank you for watching.